Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP the Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm Tim Streifler. My co-host, David Blackman, is uh, temp- temporarily on leave. He'll be back with us soon, taking some much-needed time off. Uh, so stay tuned, and we'll be back to our normal routine uh, very soon. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about why your brand is more important than your company name. Uh, when everyone's starting a business, they always think... Uh, of trying to come up with that perfect name. It's been hours, days, weeks trying to come up with a perfect name, searching domain names, seeing what's available. Uh, and by no means am I saying uh, stick to the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, obviously, you want something that's catchy that kind of reflects, uh, you know, the brand that you want to build, and um, you know, potentially might uh, give light to what your product or service does. Um, but at the end of the day your brand is going to give that name meaning, not the other way around. And so, uh, for example, our our good friends over at WPMU Dev, I'm not picking on you guys, but I think you'll agree, the name WPMU Dev, not a great name. It's hard to remember, trying to figure out what the letters are, what they mean. Um, And their domain name is actually worse, premium.wpmudev.org. It's a mouthful. However, they built an incredible brand um, over the years, most recently, they've shifted their branding to the superhero theme. They're the, the WordPress superheroes. So they've done a really good job giving that name meaning and giving that uh, name uh, recollection of their brand. So you recall their brand when you hear that name and you think of what you know the personality of their company and you know how it makes you feel and like how good and high quality their products are. Uh, and so it's awesome. Um, and so the name maybe by itself isn't good, but because of the brand that they built, um, it's, it's given it meaning and substance and, um, they've been incredibly successful over the years. One of the longest standing WordPress product companies and one of the most successful overall. So clearly a name did not hold them back by any means. However, you can also have a good name, but not really a good brand and it's, it's not going to do anything for you. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's why building a brand, um, not worrying about a name so much is is much more important. So um, you might ask, what is a brand? How do you build a brand? It's one of those things that it's kind of hard to explain. Um, it's not any one thing. Some people think of branding and they think of your logo and color scheme where that's kind of a small part of it and that helps um, build a brand. It's That's not even anywhere close to all of what branding is a brand is what your customer feels thinks of um, and how it reacts to you as a company so it's your voice it's your personality uh, it's um, you know the, the the products that you create and how they affect people in their lives and so so many things go into building a brand um, that it's kind of hard to you know pin it down into a short sentence, um, but Apple, for example, one of the most recognizable brands in the world, um, you can say the word Apple, and while Apple's a fruit and uh, has been around much longer than Apple, the company, um, when you hear Apple, you think of them. Uh, you think of iPhones. You think of great customer experiences. You think of Steve Jobs on stage. Uh, unveiling the next iPhone. Um, And so there's a lot that comes to mind. Um, And then obviously there's bad brand experiences, you know, and so you think of different things uh, around that. And so um, a brand is really important. Actually, Google has mentioned that they're, they have been, and they're going to continue moving towards um, brands being uh, the biggest search uh, signals, um, and so essentially what that means is rather than looking at links or content, stuff like that, they're looking at who's the brand behind it because you can't manipulate uh, the search engines around a brand. 
Um, and so you can build fake links, you can spin up content, things like that, but you can't fool Google when it comes, comes to a brand. And so what that means is companies that have a recognizable brand, an established brand, and people know who they are, people are searching for their names in Google, those are the companies that are gonna succeed the best in the search engines. Rather than a, a company that just comes out of nowhere and might have a ton of links and might have some really good quality content, but they haven't earned their place yet, they haven't built a recognizable brand. No, one, no one's searching for them. Uh, brand queries is, is a big way that they um, determine a company's you know, brand strength. So um, yeah, just a little bit about branding. It's one of those concepts that you can spend all day talking about and then at the end of the day, not really still not 100 percent sure what makes a good brand and what branding is and all of that um, it's kind of one of those um really uh can't you know no substance types of things you can't hard to wrap your your head around wrap your hands around um but extremely extremely important when it comes to business so um tune in tomorrow we have another awesome WordPress web design episode. We're actually going to be uh, going a little bit more WordPress specific, kind of been jumping around a little bit to marketing and business and things like that, productivity. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about the WordPress customizer and is it outdated? So tune in to tomorrow's episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP The Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP The Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP The Podcast.